Saturday's night run. I'm working on stuff for Comic Con coming up this weekend. I'm printing out my comics. I did this for a front cover, but I need to do a back version. Um, so I'm just going to colour this in, like this um, style, and then maybe write my social medias on the back. Hopefully that'll be quite cool. Just watching a film, and I've got all my stuff ready, like these and different papers like crisp ball, we've got sticker papers, we're gonna make some stickers and then we'll have to laminate those. Gonna find some stuff to print and take. I don't know if to take originals or not, but I don't think there's much of a market for that. Okay, a little update, just editing tomorrow's vlog. Nearly finished with it, just done my voiceover, need to edit that out. I I did a voiceover and it came out all echoey, so I had to redo it and then I listened to the next one. It was fine, it doesn't make any sense. I don't understand you, computer. Did a lot of printouts yesterday. At first I thought I had to do it this size and I was like, that's gonna be really small. And then I, you know, figured out that maybe I should do it this size because that makes more sense so you can actually see the comics inside. Um, this is just a mock-up so it's really cheap paper so it's not the final thing. I'm thinking of printing the covers in this card, yellow card, and Chris is going to get me one of these slicey, <laughs> slicey things and hopefully that will make my life easier when it comes to cutting the comics. Okay, just to butt in here, stuff from the future, but I got this, Chris got me this tiny one and it was pretty useless, like it helped a little bit because it was easier than scissors, but man, it was hard. So don't, don't buy this. Smart cut A100. I don't know, I, I want a big guillotine thing that costs like a lot of money. There's no point in me buying that. And also it's quite hard to find stuff like this just in a small town. Back to the vlog. Little update, that is printing and it's taking forever. Next time, I'm seriously just gonna get them professionally printed, but I just didn't have enough time and thought it would be cheaper. It was a mistake. And yeah, I have to trim everything because my printer doesn't print things properly. Uh, so this is the comic and inside are the pages. Uh, it's coming along nicely. I just have to get them all together. And I bought this bread rack thing um, where you cut bread on, but it's what would be perfect for displaying stuff. Yeah. And so Comic Con began and the first day was a bit of a, not a fail for us because we didn't sell anything but it was great to just hang out and feel the atmosphere and meet new people. It's a really nice location too. It was by this old pool that basically they turned everything into this massive complex for Comic Con and put up loads of tents and there were lots of different artists different guests, lots of things going on, lots of talks, so it was really exciting. Even though we kind of broke even money-wise, it was worth it and we still have lots of stock to possibly sell on an online shop. It's good to get out of your comfort zone and do things like this. I also did on-the-spot commissions of mermaids for people, um, digital and traditional, and that was terrifying. I've never done that before, so that was a real growth for me to do that and feel comfortable about doing it, so that was really, really fun and I'm really glad that I did that. There was also beer, so that's always a plus. At the con, they had medieval weaponry people and they held a little tournament and our friend competed in it and it was really fun to watch. So I will roll the footage and I apologize for mine and Chris's commentary throughout because we were very excited and very full of beer. Oh, oh shit, I was charging. I said, I said, great beer, yeah, boy. <laughs> that combo, what was this wow. Game of Thrones? Oh my god, he's scary. The fencing is on point. Oh, the, it's on the ground! Oh. No. Definitely blow, you know? Your rim. If this was Game of Thrones, we'd all be dead if Krim was not on our side. Grim is like the guy who teaches Arya how to fight. Oh, there's no beating our boy! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 it's man by right. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, whoa, oh. oh.
and I've never felt more like a nerd <laughs> in my whole life. Okay, okay. <laughs> friend won, that's awesome. Look, look, look. I want him in a medieval battle with me. <laughs> look at him bowing. Look at him. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you queen. Thank you, very much. Thank you queen. <laughs> 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 Overall, I think the con was a real success. Just because we didn't make like, ooh, lots of money, we didn't sell lots of things, doesn't mean it wasn't a success. I had a few people come up to my table and tell me that they really liked my comics. And honestly, that is like amazing to me. I'm really happy that I did it. And I will definitely look forward to doing it again. Thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe for more content and I will see you next time.